Hey world, I'm Josh. Hi, I'm Lauren. Welcome to another episode of Let's Try Stuff. Coffee edition. Today we've got the Collectivo Coffee Ethiopia Yerga Chef. Yerga Chef. Yerga Chefe. Yerga Chef. Eat your chef for chef. So anyway, uh, picked up some sweet mugs when I went there. Um, this one's my favorite. You're this holding it backwards. Fire one. Yeah. I went to Collectivo in Milwaukee. Uh, this is the last of the coffees that I picked up there. Um, Ethiopia Yerga Chef is kind of a generic way to describe it. Kind of just a region. I don't know if it's like a blend. I think it's single origin though. So, um, you try it, Lauren, and I'll yammer on for a little bit more. It was a very cool shop in Milwaukee. There seemed to be at least three big ones. Uh, Collectivo, um, Anodyne, and um, Stone Creek. It's sort of the big roasters coffee shops there. And I think Collectivo was probably the coolest. Um, but... Like, it definitely had, like, nice branding, uh, kind of modern and cool on the inside. Um, Stone Creek was kind of classier. Uh, it sort of felt like going to a winery. And then Anodyne was inside a market, so I don't really know what their shops were like. But out of the two, they were my favorite so far. Let's So let's see uh, where Collectivo stands up. This is a really tasty coffee got the fruitiness, it's got yeah. the light acidity, it's not too intense, it doesn't have a really crazy aftertaste. Admittedly we're drinking it pretty cold, <laughs> it's been sitting for a little bit, but... It really has such a nice fruity tea-like... With kind of a caramel back end. Yeah, there's a sweetness to it that really mixes well with that really light acidity. Yeah, um, very, uh, floral. Yeah. With a caramel back end. It's like, it's like you took a sugar cube and your tongue was made of fire and it turned into caramel on the way down. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cold brew. How's the cold brew? It's kind of the opposite, but in a good way chocolate right up front and mm. as it goes back in your mouth becomes more floral and fruity yeah um and maybe a little more acidic but not not a lot which is weird i know to say for a cold brew but that's how it comes across mm -hmm. well, what do you think it definitely maintains the acidity that I like. It's not, it's not horrendous. It's really not like, oh, this just bit me back, but it's, it's got the fruity. Did it happen for like an, an op like, I feel like when I drink it in the warmer, the stuff that was brewed hot brew, it was like floral easing into caramel, and here it's like chocolate easing into sweet. So it's, it was sort of like sweet caramel, burnt caramel. Chocolate, sweet. I'd say so, but also with that like tangy. Yeah. Tanginess that, to it. I think tangy is often what I want to call acidic. Mhm. Mm but I think when the people say acidic, they're really referring to something more of a bitter note. Mhm. Mm For me, the hot brew and the cold brew have very similar initial notes, and I think that's pretty much what you said. But oh, well, I had them going the opposite way. Yeah. Like sweet to burnt caramel and then like a dark chocolate to like a that, that cold brewed chocolate into like a sweeter sweeterness. Yeah. I would say so. This is a really tasty one. I want to I want to keep drinking this. Yeah, this is a rather good daily drinker is what I'd call it like yeah, if the really bitter stuff does not do it for you, you'll like this a lot. Yeah, I feel like that Anodyne Ethiopia Sasaba is just a special coffee. That natural processed, really light roasted, 
blueberry kind of flavor just so far up my alley that that just really stands out as an amazing coffee for me personally but like if you're like a dark roast french uh, French press coffee kind of drink you're, you're not you I don't think you're gonna like that at all no this will be way too light I think this is sort of like the coffee for everybody it's got something for everyone mm -hmm. which is why I say it's like a daily drinker like it's not so sweet it's gonna be offensive to dark roast people and it's not so bitter it's offensive to natural processed sweet coffee kind of people like me yeah so I can see, yeah, I can see why this uh, Colectivo is as popular as it is in Milwaukee and very, very cool shop if you're ever up there. I highly recommend checking it out. I'm obsessed with this mug. <laughs> it is a cool mug. So is this one. They have kind of cool branding. I guess, as a final note, having been to Milwaukee, I think if you take coffee in the same way like a wine drinker would take wine, go to Stone Creek. If you want a really good cup and a fun atmosphere, go to Colectivo. And if you want something you've probably never had before, go to Anodyne. So I think that's kind of how good I take deal. it. Good deal. Yeah, there's a wide range. So, thank you for... Uh, I would just say, in Milwaukee, they sell their coffee by the pound. That's... Some Midwestern spirit I can get behind. No 12 nice. ounce bags that I can think of. Yeah. That is, I like that. Thank you, Milwaukee. More people should take note. I don't care if the coffee gets a little stale over time. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a comment, subscribe, leave your thoughts. Tell us what to try next. See you next time. Bye. Bye.